Good evening as it is here in Arizona and my apologies for getting your Friday video out late but I had a long night I needed some extra rest and as a matter of fact I did oversleep which is good for me but uh, first I'd like to start out by letting you all know that I did reach the hundred point mark I was able to get my YouTube link and thanks so much to all of my subscribers especially to our dearest Sonal Maharelity 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 for publicizing my YouTube station on all of her pages, uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, and just for telling everyone about it, encouraging her subscribers to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, Sonal. I am ever grateful to you, and I'll speak to you again. We'll chat very soon in private. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Okay, and first I'd like to let you know that our uh, video concerning the fiery template, we left off at uh, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. We're talking about the uh, name of God, the name of Jesus, and the benefits of praise. We will pick up again with that uh, topic of discussion on our next video, but I'd like to discuss the urgent issues at hand, which continues to be the coronavirus in our pandemic that it has reached all uh, marriages throughout the world. And that pandemic is involving that, uh, that liar, that uh, beast, Le Leviathan, that spirit of pride, along with the weeds that are trying to resurface in, in our homes and our lives, even in the lives of uh, people's, uh, God's people. So we're going to take authority over uh, that and those issues in the name of Jesus. Prior to doing that, we'll go over to the book of Daniel, where it's discussing the kingdom of being handed over to the saints. And uh, it, this word saint is not a reserve for some ethereal looking deity. God refers to his people, us, we, his people, as the saints. So look at Daniel chapter 7 and verse uh, 27, where the Bible states, then the sovereignty, power, and greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven, okay, will be handed over to the saints, the people of the Most High. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom, and all rulers will worship and obey him. So we be the saints, people. So, and it's time for us to rise up and take our authority over these rulers, authorities, powers of this dark world, spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms and that have manifested in our earthly realms through this spirit of infirmity, uh, through these spirits of death, dying, and destruction. We come against them in the name of Jesus. So let us come together in prayer prior to uh, proceeding forward with uh, the remainder of the video. Father in heaven, we come together. Lord God, in agreement, you said where two or more are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst. And if they ask, anything shall be done uh, by our Father in heaven. We ask these things in accordance with your will, Father in heaven, with accord in accordance to your plan. For you said in your word, no plan of yours can be thwarted in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord God, in, in all the sovereignty, power, and dominion of Jesus' mighty name, we take the keys to the kingdom and, and implement them, Lord God. We thank you that you commanded your angels concerning us to guard us in all of our ways. Lord God, that they obeyed your bidding from my mouth, Lord God. You sped, said if we speak worthy and not worthless words, our mouth will be as the mouth of God. Therefore, Lord God, we take, Lord God, the, your uh, weapons of warfare found in Job chapter 41 against the spirit of Levi Leviathan, Lord God, which some people are, are exalting his power, that spirit of pride, they say can, it cannot be broken, it's the toughest spirit, but you gave us the simplest uh, uh, weapons, Lord God, to use. We, we take now the rope and we drench them in the blood of Jesus, Father in heaven, we, these weapons, and de we decree death unto them, Lord God, the Leviathan and his cohorts, their tentacles in Jesus' mighty name. Lord God, we loose a decree, Lord God, that that spirit of pride will fall and break now in the name of Jesus. We loose it, Lord God, we seal this decree with your signet ring, Lord God, that, that makes it an irrevocable decree, Father in heaven, right now in Jesus' name, Lord Lord God, the this, uh, weapons, the rope we drenched in the blood of Jesus, the hook, 
Lord God, the leash, the harpoons and the spears. Lord God, we unleash them right now into that spirit of pride, Lord God, that's come against the, uh, the even the godly marriages. Uh, let them, Lord God, accost, accost and arrest, Lord God, the spirits of Leviathan and his cohorts, and, and we render them dead in the name of Jesus now forever. We lose life. Uh, uh, you said Jesus came and we could have life and life more abundantly, Lord God. In Jesus' name, we lose that life into our marriages, into our homes, and the resurrection power, Lord God, the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead. We lose that life, Lord God, into every marriage. We lose your scepter of unity upon, Lord God, the households, the marriages, the spouses, Lord God, husbands and wives, and let there be unity, Lord God, what God has brought together, let no man put asunder. We take that word as a key to lock out everyone and everything that would try to come in and put asunder in the marriages, Lord God, that you have ordained, that you have orchestrated. We command in the sovereignty, power, and dominion of Jesus' name. You said in your word, Lord God, will he make an agreement with you for you take to take him as a slave for life. And this concerning that spirit of Leviathan. We command uh, that Leviathan to bend the knee, to bow. Every tongue uh, shall confess, every knee shall bow, and the tongues confess that Jesus is Lord. We command you uh, under our feet. You are a slave to the word of God. We're, we render you null and void, powerless in, in every way, fashion, and form. In Jesus' mighty name, we render you a slave. Your power is dead, null and void. Now, forever, in the name of Jesus, out of our marriages, out of our homes. Lord God, the spirit of death, thine instruction. The word of God says, we shall not die, we shall live. We send that word now to bind up every spirit of death that will try to come against our household, our family members. Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, we apply the blood of Jesus to our household, to our family members, Lord God, that, that death would pass us by in Jesus' name. And you said in the book of Exodus uh, for that dark plague, Lord God, when there was darkness and the people couldn't leave their homes for three days, that the Israelites still had the light. Father in heaven, we thank you that Jesus is the light of our life, Lord God. And there will be no darkness when even when darkness covers over the earth. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask these things in agreement and we thank you, Lord. We apply the blood by faith. You said you will fulfill our acts of faith. And thank you, Lord. Your word has gone forth, executed by your holy angels, your band of archangels. The angel of the Lord went before us and annihilated our every foe in Jesus' mighty name. We give you thanks and praise, wonderful Jesus. And now I'd like to equip you with some weapons. I will put these in the description box. You can find these weapons. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4, weapons of warfare. And Psalm 7, verse 13, deadly weapons. Isaiah 13, verse 5, Jeremiah 50, verse 25, Psalm 35, verse 3 is a battle axe and the spear. And Isaiah uh, chapter 10, verse 5, the rod and the staff. And Jeremiah 51, 20, the war club. The Lord is a man of war. Okay, that's Exodus 50, 15, verse 3. And the Bible says, Revelation chapter 1, verse uh, 18, I have the keys of death and hell. And right now, Father in heaven, we take those keys of death and hell. We bind up, Lord God, the spirit of Leviathan in fetters and chains of iron held fast. And we loose the, the blood of Jesus and the name of Jesus to hold fast those fetters and chains of iron right now. We take the keys, Lord God, to hell, death, and the grave. And we loose, Lord God, those doors open to bind up Leviathan and his cohorts behind those doors, those gates, and we lock them shut now forever. And that spirit of pride will no longer come into our families and, or that spirit of division, Lord God. We bind up the spirit of death as well, death, dying, and destruction. We bind them up out of the earth, Lord God, out of the heavens, Lord God, out of all eternity the, through that spirit, Lord God, of the coronavirus in Jesus' name. And we lock them into the gates of hell and lock those gates shut with the keys of death, hell, and the grave that Jesus took, Lord God, for us to utilize. And we thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that your word has gone forth. And thank you, Lord, that those weeds that remain in our families and our households, let them be uprooted with a sharp sickle right now and, and thrown into, Lord God, your fiery and wrathful wine press, Lord. In Jesus' name, let those uh, roots be uprooted. We apply the blood of Jesus as that exterminator to those roots right now. And we decree in all the sovereignty, power, and dominion sealed with your signet ring. We loose it now into those roots, into the atmosphere, into every, Lord God, controlling force of those weeds, Lord God, of those entities that will produce those weeds, that they're annihilated to death now forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you seal, Lord God, our decrees with your signet ring, that our decrees are irrevocable, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name now and forever. Thank you, Lord. 
So Psalm chapter 103, verse 20. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Okay, the angels obey his word. So the word went forth from my mouth and the, the angels are dispatched in Jesus' name. Okay, the King James Version says, hearkening unto the voice of his word. The angels listen, the angels obey to his word. Jeremiah 15, 19, if thou shalt separate the precious from the vile, thou shalt be as my mouth. Okay, so our words went forth, the Lord's word went forth from my mouth as though it was God's mouth speaking it. In the name of Jesus. So we thank you, Lord, for your power. We thank you, Lord, for your presence, for your wisdom, for your guidance. Thank you, Lord, for the abundant life we go for freely and free indeed, that you kept us, that you continually surrounded us as the mountains surround Jerusalem, that you continually surrounded us and protected us from everyone and everything, now and forever in the mighty name of Jesus. And so now I'm going to end this video. We'll take up on our next video with our fiery template in Jesus' name. I love you all. Stay safe. And thank you, thank you, thank you once again to all of my subscribers. Peace.